All right, guys, this is a little video uh, about a battery mod, and I've been very happy with it. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a SEMA uh, X5C uh, controller, uh, your standard battery. I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, but it's a little teeny tiny battery. So, I've actually had the pleasure of receiving a different battery uh, for this quad. Which is this guy right here. Actually has the SEMA connector on it. So you really don't have to do any modifications to the quad at all. The only thing that you really have to do Velcro. And so with that, you actually put a little piece of Velcro right there. And if you remove the battery door, which is how I actually fly this one, is I will take the battery door completely out. And there's another little piece of Velcro right there. The battery connector is in the exact same place as the original battery, so you don't have to even mess with that if you don't want to. Uh, a lot of people say that that little piece right there will break, and uh, so it'll just flop around, so you may want to take that out. Uh, that way you don't have to mess with it. But anyway, plug the battery into the connector. Just like that. You line the battery up as best you can to get it centered and you give it a good firm press to make sure that the velcro is holding and that's how you fly it just like that the velcro is pretty good you don't have to worry about it falling off anytime during the flight unless you maybe have a a hard crash or a hard landing or something like that then you may want to check on it um, a really cool thing about that is I actually got 25 minutes of flight time on that for your normal everyday battery that's that one right there will only give you approximately 10 minutes of flight time so 10 minutes 25 minutes your choice the battery is about $12 I think and it was on eBay I'll get you a link uh, in the description below let me know what you think.